Hello again, it's Amy with Just a Little Ink. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. Um, I'm here today to share with you a technique. It's not new by any means, but it's the book binding um, fold. It's a sweet idea, uses just a half a sheet of cardstock. I've received a number of different swaps using this fold and thought it would be fun to do it using brand new product, sneak peek products that are out of our upcoming January to June mini catalog. I cannot show you the inside just yet, but this is the cover. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator already, I'd love to be yours and I could have one of these sent your way. Um, with any order that you place with me, I'd be happy to ship one along with you. Um, it also is going to be a celebration time. Again, I cannot show you the inside, but I can show you the cover of our celebration brochure. This will start the same time our mini catalog does, January the 4th, and it'll go through the end of February to February the 28th. Every 50 spent, you can receive um, a free product out of that brochure. And if you host a $300 party or spend $300 during January or February, you'll receive a free stamp set. And there are special perks if you would like to join as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or simply just receive what's the best kit out there, the starter kit. And it's a great kit any time of year. Um, please, if you like my video, I appreciate it if you would not only like and share it, but if you would also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if you, again, do not have a demonstrator and you would like to place orders for anything that I'm showing today, you can use this host code through the month of December. Um, and you can order anytime at my website, justalittleink.stampinup.net. And you can see any other projects I've done, video posts, all are listed with all the supplies on my blog, justalittleink.com. So let me share with you all of the different supplies that you are going to need to make this beautiful card. You're going to need some Highland Heather um, Stampin' Classic ink. You're going to want some of our beautiful, it's got a little bit of shimmer. This is Highland Heather um, Half Inch Grain Ribbon. It's out of our annual catalog. You're going to want a half a sheet of Highland Heather cardstock. This is cut the long way, four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at four and a quarter and five and a half. Again, all these measurements will be on my blog. You'll want a piece of Highland Heather cardstock, four inches by five inches. And then you're going to want a few pieces of our basic white one that's four by four. You'll also want one piece that's two and a half by two and three quarter, and then a scrap piece. This one's a little larger, but it needs to be at least one inch by three inches, and that's for this greeting. You're also going to want some scrap pieces of Mossy Meadow, So Saffron, and Blushing Bride. And finally, for those little centers on the inside, I have used some of the um, lavender from the Playing With Patterns resin dots. These again are out of the annual catalog. So I'm going to set those things aside and then share with you that you are also going to want, grab all my pieces here, when you're able to order the um, January the 4th, this is the Love and Happiness stamp set and it has coordinating framelits as well as, and this is all comes to the framelits and the folder come together. This is the stamp and cut and emboss bouquet of love folder, and it's a hybrid folder. So it holds, this is the other die that comes. It cuts and embosses at the same time. And so that we're going to show you how to do all of that today. So let's begin. Get all this stuff out of the way. We'll kind of side this off to the side a little bit. I'm going to show you how this all works together. And to begin with, I'm going to cut and I got to pull out the big machine. 
put the big machine up here. So I'm going to open up my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. You're going to want the platform. You do not need the adapter. And you are going to want plate number four so that we can emboss. I'll kind of show you. I'm making this a little bit bigger than needed. So the die sits into this side. You don't want it on this. It has the little grooves. So put it in here. And what matters most is that the fold of your folder goes into the machine first. So I'm going to line up or have to turn it around a little bit. What I found worked best is I'm going to find where this, the embossing starts on the folder and I'm going to center this way. Kind of split the difference between the two and I'm going to pull it all the way to the edge. Hopefully you can see all of that. What am I doing? Not too bad. Let me scoot just a little further over here. So I have my shorter edge lined up on the end. I've centered top to bottom. I've got my die in the center there. I'm going to shut my folder. I need to place plate four on top. Then I'm going to run it through my embossing machine my cutting boss machine. A little crooked, but I think it still works. Come out on the other end, get the machine out of the way. Open up the folder. And you'll see that I've cut and embossed. Got stitching along this side. I'm not going to need this, so you can save this for another project. Keep your eyes peaked for that. And now you notice it's not centered and that is on purpose that so I can come in and cut one inch off on this end. Already done that. And so I have a piece to put on this end and I have my cut, but I need to do it one more time. I didn't think ahead here. I need to pull out that machine one more time and I'm going to center this little piece, fold it over. As long as it's enough to cut there, we're good. Line it up and then grab that machine. Since I wasn't thinking through all the way here, I need to cut that center part out because I want it in the basic white. So pull that out and then we can get rid of the machine. All right, so what I need, I'm going to just set all this other aside, get it out of the way. I need the heart. So then I can go through with some assembly. So to assemble this cute card, it really does go pretty quick. I've got a center score line. I'm going to go ahead and fold my card in half along that center fold. Line up this other end, use my bone folder, get a nice crisp fold along that score. Then I have another score line. I'm going to open up my card. I can either use tear and tape to go onto the inside, or if you are a fan of our Seal Plus, our Stampin' Seal Plus, that also is a strong enough adhesive that you can come in here, get it moving here, that you can come in and you don't need a ton, but you need enough to come along this edge so that this book binding can hold together. So and I really prefer the Simply Scored Plus. So then again, I'm just going to fold again, press, turn over, and then along this other score line, it's going to open up so I get a book fold. Then I'm going to take my two pieces that are embossed and I'm going to attach them down. So I'm just using stamp and seal. You could use our multi-purpose liquid glue that would work as well. Come into the center piece here. 